Okay, so just to give you guys an idea of how much water came down here now. Just look at this. Now the synthetic lord is lifting up and then some of the sand is going out of it. So I just want to put this back. Just seal it up. Because when the tigers run over it, that is where they lift it. And when the water goes underneath it and it starts floating. But look at this, this whole garden. I've never seen so much water in this backyard before. The pool, I just treated it. I think it will be fine. The water will go blue. Even there, when we take the water out of the pool, we don't get this problem even. So this is a lot of water that just came down. And upstairs was fine. The gutter that I've got up there was throwing most of the water still in the field. That water always used to come here. And then even it wasn't this much. So I really think I did a great move of putting that roof up on the top in order to get water off from the building. And also my house, all the water walk, runs away from the house. The house is higher, not like it should be. But it's not always that people build that way. That's why I don't have a problem. Even if the water come in, I can get it out. Well, Enzo's ready to go for another run in the rain. I better open up and get out of the way ASAP. I see these two dogs are already moving because they know what's coming. Well, I can try and make a video about it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Let me just feel here where the synthetic lawn is. This is actually not the right way to do this, but let me do it. Or shall I say, that is the right way to do it. You want to get the tigers something to enjoy. Give him a pool. <laughs> One thing I noticed as I was walking up to Diego after I cleaned the hole in the wall for the water to go through. When I looked back at Diego, he was staring me right down. Those eyes were so focused. He was ready to jump. And I don't know what he wanted to do, but he'll probably play, but... It's not going to stay playing. It's going to... It's going to hurt playing. <laughs> but yeah, these two are amazing. I just can't get used to them. Every day, something different. I said that the first time. Every day, there's something different with them, and I can still say that. They are truly magnificent. And now they're so calm. Let's see if they're gonna do something. I love it when this happens and they get a chance to really experience something different something that would have been out of control in nature they can have it enjoy it and we have made the necessary arrangement to get rid of it as well look at diego he just wants to play they are gonna play now because i mean in nature if the lightning hits right by him he runs and he can be scared and you, he doesn't know where to go at least here he cannot just get lost and the same thing with such a huge amount of water coming down and hail they are able to at least carry on exactly where they were half an hour ago there he comes ah Diego wants to get me <laughs> Oh, Diego, I'm dry now. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> yeah, those are the claws I'm talking about. we got to cut those. Hey, Diego, you're naughty now. I know that look on a tiger. That's when you don't go close. Because when he gets you with that feet, you don't go anywhere else but down. So... <laughs> Let's watch them a little. And 
here's water. It's like. <laughs> Here you go. He finds it so attractive. Imagine in the wild, anything had a little bit of trouble now in the water. Oh, they no match for them. He will just pick them up one by one. And I guess just swallow them up, eh, Diego? I've seen the meat also. <laughs> he is just waiting for an opportunity to make one huge move. It's going to come. Now, I have to say, this is the first time now that I don't trust Diego. I will, at any time, burst in there and he will probably run away from me. But now, I can see those eyes. He did change. I can give him a scratch, but I have to know he is the real tiger now. They change. You see it in their eyes, especially when they are all wet then you have to know you don't even try anything with him. He can do anything at any point. Except Enzo maybe. <laughs> maybe he's fine. I see them going for a walk and also since I got so many animals you do have them doing their business everywhere but after rain like this this whole place is clean. There is nothing left. Everything is gone. The worst thing about it is the ants are the ones that suffer the most. Oh, Diego. <laughs> Ooh, he feels great. Let's see if they play. They normally do. And they are already on that side. Dogs going crazy. <laughs> there he is. Here comes Enzo. Did he get you, Enzo? But you got him earlier. Now ah, the water level's dropping. We're getting the water out. So the water is probably about 20 three degrees so it's not that cold nice and warm here it comes come on Diego Yeah, I don't trust you right now, Diego. You're too naughty. That look on your face. 
<laughs> well guys that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it like always have a great day